Throughout this episode, I referred to this as Little Mount C and eventually Mount Xi. But in reality, a few days later, I learned it's called Mount Sai or Little Mount Sai. Excuse my blunder. So I'm doing uh, Mount Little C to break myself in as I've been driving so much for the past three or four days and so much studying, my head is kind of cooked and my body's feeling a little fatigued. I got to the gym yesterday for the first time, got some stretching, a workout in, but I think this this hike will be just perfect. I think it's, what is it, 450, something like that, uh, meters elevation gain. And Mount C, the big one, that one's like 1,050 or something. So that's a big dog. I'll be tackling that one as well, but I may have to wait, wait for a few days to get a weather window to do that. Yeah, I'll try to switch to uh, feet from now on while I'm down here. So far I can say the trailhead is nice and busy, which I like. Uh, just because there's lots of people there, you're less likely to get any thieves that show up. And um, it's a pretty populated kind of region, a lot of cars driving around. And there's, um, I think, so there's another summit you can go up here as well, I think. But there's multiple different trails. There's also some rock climbing uh, things over to my left here, as well as, I don't know what that boulder garden is. We'll check that out. What's interesting about feeders and meat is I always used to count everything in feet, elevation of mountains, and then I more recently switched over to meters and now I gotta <laughs> switch back to feet. Found the rock climbing route. Definitely some cool rock climbing up here. I'm not a rock climber, but there's some sheer walls there for sure. another rock climbing route called the woods and look at this charred piece of wood look at this it's smooth what the heck <laughs> so i don't think the route is up there but that looks amazing up there it shows a sign over here going up so probably that rock face that was above us before oh this does look like this is probably a wall here because this is a path that goes this way so I'm like a squirrel gets distracted with every side trail and every path <laughs>
I've stumbled upon what I'm told is some of the best rock climbing in Washington. And as you can see, the wall is just covered in climbers. So this is apparently called the World Wall, where everyone's up here. I'm just gonna take a quick step up here and take a peek. Wow, this trail is surprising me. There's a, just a massive boulder field. Look at this. This is where it switches back. This is like a big butt of your uh, J shape, and all the way up and back, but on top of the ridge. So this is my turning point. Uh, top section here is quite a bit more vertical. I'd say maybe the crux is back there. There's no real crux on this one, but it gets a little bit steeper with some drop offs. So if you're a super new hiker, you might find it a little bit scary there. But aside from that, this trail is very well trot and uh, pretty straightforward. The elevation's not too bad. Just the last section here is uh, going up a lot more than it is forward. So yeah, you can see the top of the mountains right there, like 50 feet up. So this has got to be it. This has got to be the summit here, yeah. So there's she up there. We're about a third of the way up on the little she. I think most people go sit over there because you actually get a cliff to go look over. We'll check that out now. Seems like there's a few cliffs here. So after climbing down all this stuff, there's another ledge here we're gonna check out. Well, we've reached the end here. Get any closer than that. I gotta say, climbing up this is actually is a little bit scary there. Just because the edge is scree and sloped. Um, pretty cool down here though for sure. Time to go back to the uh, cliff edge now. Check that out.
there's like a parachute or a glider there. This guy's been doing circles around this mountain over here like five, six, seven times in a row. Is he just getting enough lift? He's just pushing him up in the air. first hike of many I'm gonna do in the bag. I'm traveling across from Vancouver Island where I'm from. I filmed, I don't know, 70 mountains or something up there. And I'm traveling across the US because there's way more people down here and there's way more chance people will find my videos if I film down in the States here. And I'm, I'm trying to change my life. I wanna do something I'm absolutely passionate about that I love doing, I love hiking, I love filming uh, adventure episodes. So we'll see what happens here, but this is the first of many to come. Hopefully you enjoy this episode. Be sure to subscribe for more episodes here. I'll be traveling all across the United States, filming mountains and different cool things, waterfalls, etc. So until next one, have a great day.